What's up everybody? In today's video, I'm going to be giving you five tips to make sure you succeed when raising your dart frog tadpoles. And make sure you stick around to the end because tip number five will help you get your froglet started off right. Let's get into it. Tip number one is feeding a variety of different food. Feeding your tadpoles a variety of different food is important as frogs are prone to spindly leg syndrome. This is usually seen in the form of an underdevelopment in the front limbs. For this reason, the tadpoles need a well-rounded diet. I alternate between fluval bug bites, Zoomed aquatic frog and tadpole food, New Life Spectrum grow fry starter, and Rapashi soil and green. Tip number two is to do frequent water changes and try not to leave any uneaten food in the water. I do my water changes using a turkey baster and only take out around half the water before replacing it with fresh tadpole tea. And speaking of tadpole tea, tip number three is to raise your tadpoles in tadpole tea. Tadpole tea is made by boiling Indian almond leaves. The boiling water helps release the tannins from the leaves, making the water antifungal and antibacterial. This will help keep your tadpoles healthy. And of course, make sure you wait for the tadpole tea to cool down before you use it. Tip number four is to tilt your deli cups when the tadpoles are ready. This is when your tadpoles have all four of their limbs and are ready to leave the water. At this point, I reduce the amount of water in the deli cup and then tilt it against something. This allows the tadpoles to climb out of the water. Once they climb out, you can move them to their grow out bins. Now tip number five is for froglet success. I recommend setting up the grow out bin at least two weeks before the froglets are ready for it and seed it with springtails. This gives the springtails enough time to breed in the grow out bins and ensure the froglets have a constant supply of food when they move into the bins. I still recommend seeding the grow out bins with springtails every week though. Okay, that's it for this video guys. If you have any more tips that I didn't mention, then leave them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.